Multimeter is a great tool to have around the house. There's so many things these will do. It will literally take days to go through a course and show you everything, but I'm going to try to touch the surface and give you a few so you kind of know what you're getting into. Uh, one of the first things that these are, are useful for is checking voltage. So we put it on a setting for, um, for volts, and these are DC, and obviously a car. So we're going to check between uh, positive over here and negative. We're getting 11.9. So you know we're right about 12 volts. That's about what we want. 57 Chevy, not too bad. Hold in there. Um, Next thing we could check is to make sure their alternator is working. So we could turn the car on, do the same test, and we'd look for somewhere between 13 and 14 volts. That would mean alternators running strong. Another great function these have is continuity testing. And continuity testing is basically making sure that you have a complete circuit across a wire. Um, and what happens is once you put it on the setting, you get a little beep. So you put one lead on one end, another lead on the other end. If you get a beep, then you know you have a good complete circuit and you can move on to the next test. Let's try ohms. Uh, ohms are resistance, so click to the setting that's within your range. And an example of uh, resistance would be, let's say, like a coil. Coil has windings inside. And if you look in a manual, a repair manual for whatever your vehicle is, it's going to tell you, OK, for this vehicle, it should have so many ohms of resistance. Put it on each end. Once you get that reading, you can see whether the part really works or not, instead of just wasting your money, changing it out on a guess or a whim, and, uh, which I've been, done in the past when I was young, uh, and really know that you're, you're doing the proper repair. You can check for AC volts. All you need to do is turn around for a 110 outlet. We're going to switch it around. We just happen to have a cord handy and put this in one side the red lead into the other. Now, so that looks good. So it's a good way to test at home to see if you have any circuits out.